What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number two. This is Longsman, and we have Snow Shovel here. What's up, guys? And special guest, you guys have been requesting for him, uh, Pyro. What's up, everyone? All right. So He's Pyro from label, by the way. Yeah. Fuck, fuck you. The <laughs> real Pyro, not not some fake guy. All right. So what have you been up to, Pyro? What are you talking about? Uh, I've been. <laughs> I've been a. Uh... I've been playing, I've been leading Team Label in Battlefield 3, and... I'm in it too. Been scrimming a lot. Why did you ask me? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if people want to know. Yeah, right. Um, Yeah, Battlefield 3, we're getting a team together. We we have a solid team right now. Okay, That's good. That's about it. Oh, go check out Level Cap's, Level Cap Gaming's channel, YouTube channel. Go. Okay, yeah, Level Cap channel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, first of all, we want to thank you guys for the feedback. You guys gave us some awesome feedback, even though we um, expected a lot of bullshit. Because, you know, Avra community, it is what it is. Ooh, nice wall bang. Okay. Shit. So, um, first, thi we're gonna, first thing we're going to go over, I think the most popular thing that people want to know is stuff about paramods. Talk, oh up, my talk God. to us. I get asked lighting. this more than everything, and it's pretty simple. I use two different sets of mods. I use scrim mods, which is damage barrel and grip. Stop laughing, Pyro. Stop. You sound so frustrated. I know. It's, it's almost it's, like we didn't I, do I this get asked that more than everything. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, anyway, damage grip. That's good for spamming. That's good for scrims because you're using the gun the way it was meant to be used, which is for a high rate of fire, high damage, uh, all at the same time, and trying to control that. But anyway, um, in the video, this video... I'm using the mods I use in Dexterity, which are the headshot mods, um, Spets, Grip, Trigger, and Recoil Control Stock, and those mods I would only use if I'm trying to only get headshots. Um, but anyway, you're probably asking why I use those mods. Uh, it's easier to use damage and grip, and the point is, um, I'm trying to practice headshots because it develops a better habit of aiming for the head. And it also, it also helps, it just helps with your aim in general, and, uh... Okay, hold up, though. Yeah. Tell these, tell these guys, tell these motherfuckers what they're doing wrong. They, they fuck money. Okay. <laughs> the problem I see That's most one. people doing <laughs> with the para is move shotting and trying to spray it or burst fire it. First of all, you only move shot. You only move shot if you have to absolutely get to cover and try and use that cover to your advantage. Uh, other, other than that, you should not be move shotting a para. You should be getting two or three shots quick and then relocating as fast as you can because the gun spreads too fast. But um, yeah, that's a problem. Move, do not move shot when using a para. Uh, you can, but I highly, I, I recommend you don't do that because it's just making your accuracy worse and you're relying more on the randomness of the gun spray than you are on your actual skill. Anyway, um, another problem I notice is that people burst fire, which I mentioned earlier. You should never burst a para unless you're ex you're in their face. If if you're not in their face, you should not be bursting the gun. You should be always you should always be tapping the para. But uh, yeah, that those are the two big problems I usually see with most para users. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys notice it too. Every time, every time you spectate someone, and when they're firing at somebody, they have to. It's like an, an innate, like instinct for them to. It's almost like strafe. they're lazy. Yeah, they strafe back and forth. That is so annoying. <laughs> you don't need to do that. The payoff of you dodging bullets doesn't pay off for you sitting down or just sitting still. And like it, it, getting rid of him. Just what, get what Long is saying, it is it is easier to aim and focus on getting the kill than focusing on them not hitting you. Yeah. I think it's more important that you get the kill than you trying to dodge bullets. Wait, hang on. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Talk so about these pistols. They're, they're probably <laughs> wondering. They're like, holy shit, what are those? <laughs> those are dual Barbados. You get them from the GM event. Uh, you have to get first place. In the event, I guess. Uh, I got invited to it, so I don't know... I don't really know, like, what you get from it. I just know I got them because I got first place. <laughs> anyway. Keep, dro keep dropping that in there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you get first place, you get dual Barbados for two weeks, and they're pretty good. It's basically just a normal Beretta times two, and 
They have a bit more damage and a little less rate of fire. But yeah, that's basically a Beretta. You get 30 you get 30 ammo from it. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, uh, let's move on. Um, let's do another session of frequently asked questions. But okay. since Pyro's here, Hello. we're gonna we're gonna do one for him. So I think a lot of people ask you what your because you used to play Seiko. What are your Seiko mods? All right, uh, my Seiko mods. Uh, my Seiko mods in my montage are different from the ones that I usually use. The ones in montage was just a burst barrel. The ones that I use now or that I used to use afterwards that I found were way more helpful was the recoil control stuff. Um, the reason why I don't use the grip is because I feel like it sacrifices... I feel like it messes up my move shot with it. Like, it's more sporadic when I move shot. Uh, and in scrims, um, when you're trying to stack up and move in, storm in through a site, you need to be able to move out of the way so your teammates don't get... Um, don't get slaughtered at the choke. So being able to like have that little bit of edge move shotting, even with his a shitty weapon as a Seiko, is really important. Oh, alright. Speaking of scrims, Ow. if you guys want us to shout cast, let us know in advance, like before you're gonna scrim. Schedule a scrim with somebody. And then let us, us know. So we can like talk about it, I guess. Cause you guys want that too. I saw that in the comments. Um Okay, the number two most popular one. question for Pyro is Snow Online. Is, is Snow Online? Uh, hold on, let me check. Uh, are you online? I don't think so. No, he's, no. he's not He's not online. So he's not fucking online. So right. stop fucking <laughs> asking me that! <laughs> <laughs> you mad, bro? Okay, I'm gonna Okay, let's you. move on to Snow. Um, a lot of people are commenting yeah. about um, Game Sense, but I guess... For now, we only have time for just one tip, but we want to make a video in the future about um, just everything about Game, game sense, sense 101 in yeah. general. But for now, what's your one tip you could give to them so they can be a little bit better for their Avra experience? experience. Uh, I would say a big one is conserving your grenades. Or later in the game because a lot of people just they throw their frag grenade in the first 10 seconds of the match and then it's gone forever yeah don't and do they that. probably won't get a kill from it because grenades got nerfed like shit yeah really okay so you guys sit down and think a little bit like how many kills do you really get from a nade okay? yeah if you're throwing your nade in the first 10 seconds trying to get that set nade kill how many times do you get that kill probably one in a hundred now <laughs> so why throw that nade when you can save it and use it for sound play. Because we all know, well, if you don't know, if you throw a grenade in a specified area and there's an enemy there, he'll automatically yell out grenade or whatever. It's, yeah. it's part of the game mechanics. But anyway, if you save that nade and use it for that, for that purpose, not just to get kills, but to make them call out where they're at, then it's extremely effective in that use because then you know exactly where they are. Uh, you know where to aim for at all times, and you know how many people are in that in that uh, area at one time. And so it's important to save at least one grenade for late game uh, in one of those situations, especially if you're clutching. Yeah, so just have some self-control. Just leave just it in your inventory. Nade. Just I, leave it there. Snow, I've been noticing in this um, that you're not getting a lot of corner lag. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. There's no cor oh, yeah, by the way, if you guys didn't hear um, from our first episode... We talked about corner lag, so just to update real quick, uh, Snow, have you seen corner lag today? Uh, I saw lag, but I didn't see corner lag, which is good. I mean? saw, well, I saw BRs like teleporting. Okay, so but no racial, but real talk, BR. Okay, get out. People? Anyone, basically wow. anyone with <laughs> with unstable network connection, they'll teleport randomly, but it's it's usually not noticeable, and it's not that bad. Okay, so uh, very minimal corner lag or lag in general. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all we have for today. Thanks for the feedback again. Wow. Okay, thanks for the feedback. I Give us some more. Done. Give us some more content, for real. And we're going to work on some more episodes because you guys like it. Um, 
Oh, yeah. uh, hold on. I, I'm, I want everyone to know on YouTube that I'm not a fucking pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you guys got that from, but... <laughs> I don't know how that went viral, but whatever. I, I think it's funny. But anyway, um, if you like this video, subscribe. I will make more. Uh, if you like my vid videos in general, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, then cool. Um, <laughs> I also have a Facebook page where I post all my videos and some slight tidbits and information here and there. Shut up. Some slight information here and there about what I'm doing or about ABA in general. Um, if you have Facebook, uh, you can add me. Just type in Snow Shovel and I should appear. But uh, anyway. He's like a genie. Um, <laughs> video's about to end. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, like it, comment, subscribe, and, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! <laughs> right at the end. Mission accomplished. <laughs>